Hey, this is Jerry from Bliss Studio. And in this particular demo, we are going to be doing part two of our player selector. So in the last demo, we set up the UI for allowing us to move back and forth between the different characters. This particular demo, we're going to set up the selection of the character as well as setting up player prefs. Again, player prefs are what allow us to save which character we have selected to our device. That way, if we close the app and we go back into it, we have that character selected. If you appreciate these tutorials, please share. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Unity again. And what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and set up so that we can have this character as a player pref. Player pref means that we have selected that character and if we quit the app and then go back in, that character, the one we selected, is the one that's going to be our character, okay? So this is kind of cool, so you can set up all kinds of different uh, player prefs, all kinds of different things that um, you can store as information on, on your device. But in this case, we're storing what character we have selected. All right, so what we're gonna do is in our game manager, I have my character select manager right here. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and rename my Playmaker FSM that I have because I'm gonna add another Playmaker FSM to this game object. So we'll go, go ahead and call this a UI movement, okay? And maybe specifically char for character, character UI movement. And I'm gonna add, go ahead and add another Playmaker FSM. So right here where it says UI movement, click on that little drop down, and I'm gonna add a new FSM. Okay, so this, again, this is my manager specifically for the UI of the character selection. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and first get, go ahead and give this FSM a name and we'll set char uh, player prefs. Cool, all right, so we've got that set up. Now in the start, what I wanna do is I want to get the player prefs. Now it's okay if we don't have any player prefs, but we're gonna go ahead and get and load a character. So we'll go ahead and just call this load character and then uh, we'll, I'll kind of come back to this here in a bit I want to go ahead and add three states and I want to have these be specifically for each of the characters if I have a character selected what is it that I want to happen so I'll call this char1 add another state for char2 Add another state for char three. Cool, so I've got those kind of set up here. Char two, cool. All right, so I have those set up. And what I, what I want to do is I want to set a player pref, all right? So if I have character one selected, then I wanna do a couple different things, okay? So let's do this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off my character selector mask. Okay, so I'm gonna choose my mask. Go ahead and turn the rec transform off just so I can see all of my characters so I know exactly what it is I'm doing here. We can always just turn this back on to have the mask activated. So let's turn the mask off. So what do I wanna do if I have character one selected? Well, I wanna make sure that this selector is on and the other two are off. Okay, so let's do this real quick. I'm gonna take in inside of the characters themselves, I've got my selected one, two, and three, and I wanna go ahead and in each of these, uh, I want to have that to choose which one is on and which one is off. So let's go ahead and selected. Let's go ahead and drag that down, game object. We'll activate game object. And then the first one, I want it to be active. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. And then the selected the character to that game object. We want that one to be off. So let's go ahead and close that. So you can see deactivated. And same thing with character three. Oops, not get property. I want to activate game object and have that to be deactivated. Okay, so I have one activated and two deactivated. 
Okay, so I have activated, deactivated, and deactivated. So let's go ahead and just copy those real quick. Let's go ahead and paste those into character two. And now what, what I want to do is I want to, in character two, I want to deactivate the first one, but activate the second one. Okay, so let's go over to number three, paste those in. And in this one, I want to activate the third one and then deactivate the first and second one. So it should be deactivated, deactivated, and active. And deactivated, activated, and deactivated. Yep, that works. And activated, deactivated, deactivated. Okay, so that's handling just the check marks. All right, so let's go and let's actually set up our player prefs. All right, so what I'm gonna do is to, player prefs are a way for you to save your data to, the, to your device, okay? So it stores, you can store game files, you can store coins, you can store all kinds of different items. Um, it allows you to have those things that are kind of permanent to the game. You can even store high scores. But in this case, we want to score, we want to store which character that we have selected. All right, so we're going to go scroll down into our actions here, and we're going to go to player prefs. And you see, we've got some options. We got uh, we can delete player prefs, we can get player prefs, we can set player prefs. So in this case, what we're going to do is from the get go, we want to get a int value. Okay, so player prefs get int. And so I bring that in and the count is how many keys that I have. I can actually have more than one keys and I'll go into this in a different particular demo. But for this one, we only want one key. So we're storing which player we're in, one, two, or three, okay? So we need to first give this uh, int a name. And so what I'm gonna do is just call this character. And then what variable is it that we want to store? Well, we need to create a new variable and we're going to call this care char num. Okay. So the character number, let's go ahead and create that value. And currently that value is zero. Uh, it starts out off as zero. So we want that, to, that number to be one, two, or three, but we're going to start off with character one. So I'm going to change that value to one. And then anytime we first start our game, that, that is not gonna be set, but we want it to already be on character one. Cool, so that works. And then what I wanna do is to then say, hey, if, it's, if that number value is one, go to character one. If it's number two, go to character two. If it's number three, go to character three, okay? So what we need to do is do some int compares, all right? so. Let's go int compare because we set this number, this variable number up as an integer that, that that's whole numbers. We want to determine which character number is there. Okay. What is it that we want to check? Well, we have a variable called char num. So we're going to use that. So if we select the integer one and we're just going to say, Hey, if char one or, or char num is one, let's go to character one. If char number is two, go to character two. So we're gonna do three of these to check. So if char one equals one, so if it equals, we're not gonna do greater or lesser than, we're only gonna do equals, then we need to send a new event. So let's go to a new event and we'll call this char one. Okay, we need to add that, okay? Now we do need to do the same thing for the other two. And so in this case, char one, we're going to go to character one. And then let's go ahead and duplicate that real quick. And so if char num equals char two, we want to go to a new event called char two. We're going to add that and we're going to go to number two. And then we're going to do the same thing on the third one. If char num equals three, go to a new event called char three. All right, so we've got that added and now we're going to each of those. Now, what is it we wanna do in each of these? We need to set up so that 
again, we've got those activated and deactivated as the, the selected. But what we want to do is we need to make sure that we set our, our integer, our num, as one or two or three. And then we also need to set our player prefs as one, two or three. Okay, just because we haven't actually set our player prefs yet. So this is actually going to do that for us. So it's going to create that key, that saved information on our device so that we can then go back and re-reference it later because we don't know which character is going to be coming into. So let's um, go ahead and add that. So what we're going to do is go back to our player prefs and we want to set an int value. Okay, so we want to set int value and the count is one because we only have one uh, key and that key is let's go back here the key is character so we're going to go and save the key of character and we want to make sure that value is set to one so we're going to use this later on and even though it seems like it's kind of duplicating we're not really creating that first player pref until this point so let's go and then I also need to set the integer of one. So let's go set int value. And this is the character number. We wanna make sure that that is one as well. All right, so we've got all of this stuff in there. So let's go ahead and just copy these because we can do that and paste. And then we just wanna make sure that these are set to two for our character too. So we're not setting the count of the keys, but setting the value of that. Okay, so character two, and then do the same thing. Here, we want this to be character three. Okay, cool. Now that we have that selected, the other thing that we wanna do here is we're going to these characters one, two, or three, but we're not going back to be able to then select all of these. So we haven't handled any of the buttons just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these, I'm gonna move these down. I'm gonna add one more state in here, and these are this is just going to be specifically for the buttons. So let's call this character select, okay? And what we want to do is after we've gone to character one, two, or three, we wanna go back to this character select, which is then going to allow us to gather the information if somebody clicks on one of these buttons. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do finished transitions on each of these, and we're gonna go back to this character select. So add transition finished, character select. And we're going all back to this character select. Now, what is it we want to do here? We want to see if anybody has clicked on one of these buttons, we want to go to that character, which is going to set our player prefs. It's also going to set our int value of character num. So that way, when we come back into the app, if we leave the app, it's going to know which character we have selected and it's going to go to the proper, uh, appropriate character and set, set our character up. Now we haven't done just that yet, but we're getting close. So here we want to check for these buttons. Okay, so we've got character one button and the other two. So let's go ahead and add these buttons in. So we're gonna add these to our character select state. Chart button one. So button UI on click event. What is it we wanna do? Well, if we, collect, uh, if we select character one, we wanna go to this state down here. So let's go, and when, there we go. We've got character one, two, and three. We add that state, so now we can go to character one. Do the same thing with char button two and three. So UI click event. Here we wanna go to character two. We don't have that state. Let's add it in, or that action. And there we go. And now do the same thing for the third one. And this is gonna be character three. Let's add that transition in. There we go. So now we've created this kind of nice little package. So right from the beginning, we are loading the character. What, what character is it that you have? Well, if you don't have one, we're automatically gonna be selected on number one. Um, if we have character two selected, we're going to character two. Now, let's go ahead and give this a test real quick. 
Now we should be seeing our, our selected uh, checkboxes deactivated and activated. So let's go ahead and just give this a test real quick. There's one other thing that we need to do after this as well. So here we see that we have character two selected. Let's go in our variable real quick and we've got two selected. Um, let's go and go back and select Mel and you can see that Mel is selected now. Let's go click Tricia and she's selected. There we go, so that part works, but we're not changing the graphic that's in the game. So that's the last part that we need to do. So we're going to go ahead and set that up. So in our character um, option here, the thing that we need to do is to change that character graphic that's in the scene. So here we have our player right here, char one. We can go ahead and just maybe this change this to character because we're gonna, all we're gonna do is just change the character sprite. So what we're gonna do is to um, drag our sprite renderer down. So in character one, if we're in character one, let's go ahead and change the sprite. So set property, what property is it we wanna set? We're gonna set the sprite and set the sprite. And then what sprite is it we want to set? Well, I want, want it to set it to be character one. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that and paste that in. Let's now change it to character two. And then go into three. Oops. Go into character three, add that in, change this to character three. Okay, so now let's give this a test. Our current variable is, uh, I think in our player press was set to three. Um, we've already stored that value, so let's give that a test real quick. I guess we'll see which character is selected. So Trisha is selected, so you can see she's selected, and we're showing our character three sprite. And then if we, let's go in our UI here, let's select Ludic, oops. Did I not choose character two here? Oh, I didn't drag that in. Let's drag that in real quick. Yeah. Start back up. Yeah, we now have started off in Ludwig. So let's go select that Trisha. And then if we quit and then go back in, Trisha is going to be selected. So that's where the player prefs come in. Yeah. Okay, so one last thing to do, and that is to turn our mask back on. So let's turn our mask back on. So now we only see the selected uh, character, character one. So there we go, Trisha is selected. Let's select Ludwig. Let's go ahead and turn off the game. Restart the game. And we should start out with Ludwig. So now we have a full character selector and using player prefs. Hey, in part two of this demo, we actually made our character selectable. We are now saving it to our device with player prefs. And then we're able to then close the app and then restart the app. We have that character selected. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.